when all my slots are in. Hey everybody, welcome to Bab Nerd Video Podcast. This is episode 19 and recording date is June 30th, 2010. I'm your host Jason Coleman and we're trying some really cool drinks and snacks today. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, lots of great response from last week's episode. Um, YouTube has been uh, had some good views. Got some great comments. Um, pretty happy with it. Um, pretty happy with the format. People liked it, so I, I appreciate your feedback. And um, the show will continue to get better. Um, our snacks today were um, sent to me by my good friends at Not Just Cereal Snacks. So um, these are chocolate covered cereal snacks. Um, I tried the Fruity O's in the past, and they were really good, and they were nice enough to send me three more boxes of their other varieties. Honey Toasted O's, Toasted Rice right here, and Cinnamon Flavored Crunch. So that should be pretty cool. I can't wait to try these. And our featured drink today is something that I tried earlier today, and I tried it, and I had to do my next episode on it. Um, this is Ski Infrared. Um, yeah, I'm going to say I already like this drink almost as much as my wife loves Eclipse. So, yes, it's that serious. So I can't wait to try this, crack it open, and let you know all about it. Um, but first, we got some news. All right, if you have been keeping up with BevNerd.com, the Facebook fan page of BevNerd, or the Twitter account, you'll know that we have added a really awesome section to our site, BevNerd.com. This is the beverage deal section where I go out and I find all the sales ads that I can of your popular retailers like Walmart, Target, Publix, and more, and I put all the deals for your convenience to save you money because that's what it's all about. So check it out. It's going to be updated every week. I um, also got some um, local stores on there from uh, people that know me in my personal town, also Whole Foods and Thirstmonger.com, so it's pretty sweet. Um, other than that, news has been pretty slow, so let's get to the reviews, shall we? And we're back. I'm Jason Coleman. I'm here with Not Just Cereal Snacks. Um, if you missed the last show where I had the Fruity O's, you may have missed some information about these products. So, like the nice gentleman I am, I'm going to spew it out for you one more again. Um, not just cereal is made by Nassau Candies. You can find these in Walmart's exclusively in the candy aisle, not the cereal aisle. You'll find these with all your other favorite bags of candy. Um, the retail price for these are $2.50 a box. Um, originally I thought that was a little bit high, but then I opened the box and the snacks lasted a long time. There was a lot in there and it was actually a really good value after all. But um, I'm here with the Honey Toasted O's. Um, they come in bags, and the bag has a little tab that you can pull, so it makes it easy. I will pour some out. Maybe I'll drop some in the floor. I had an original tape, but I dropped some on the floor, and my dog ate it, so I had to uh, stop her and uh, re-tape it because my wife was laughing way too much. But it's okay. It's okay. Anyways, um, here they are. They're chocolate-covered uh, O's. They kind of look like the fruity O's, um, but a little bit smaller. Let's try them. Hmm. They got a nice crunch to them. Um, milk chocolate is good. Um, this kind of um, overpowers the taste a little bit more than that the um, the fruity O's had, but um, you can still taste the honey nut in there. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. I like it. It's um, it's not as a bizarre taste of chocolate and fruit together. Um, it's a little bit more simpler taste. Um, it's probably a more general taste that people may like, but um. Overall, it's pretty tasty. Alright, I'm here with toast rice. It comes in the blue container. No we will go away. And, um, well this one doesn't have a tab on it like that one did. It's all good. Now this would be pretty cool because this is like rice checks or corn checks. So, I've had chocolate covered of those before, so this should be good too. Here they are. They're little squares covered with milk chocolate. Wow, these are really good. They're the crunchiest of the not just cereal snacks yet. Um, you bite into them and they just they just like they crisp, and then they just they're kind of fluffy because they've um, they got the hollow center in them, and um, they taste actually 
I don't want to say that the, the other ones do not taste as fresh, but these taste a little bit more fresh than the other kinds, and uh, it's really good. I guess during the production, these kind of hold on to their, their natural texture and consistency, which is really good. Wow. I think this one's my favorite so far. All right. Time for cinnamon flavored crunch. Kind of like cinnamon toast crunch. It's got a little bit of, it's got a little toast guy with eyeballs. So that's kind of cool. It comes in the white package. Um, here they are. This one doesn't have a tab either, but that's all right. I've been looking forward to this one a lot because I really like cinnamon toast crunch. Go away. Don't eat it. Um, here they are. Right here. It's like very similar looking to the uh, toasted squares. They're square. They're covered with milk chocolate. I'm really excited about this. Oh yeah. Did I say that the um, toasted rice ones were my favorite? Yeah. They're my second favorite. Uh, chocolate covered cinnamon crunch is awesome. They're not as crispy as the toasted rice cereal, but when you bite in, it's got that sweet cinnamon sugar, a little bit of butter flavor. Oh man, it's it's really that. This is nice. This is my favorite, followed by toasted rice, followed by fruity O's. And sorry, um, Honey Tozos, you come in a strong fourth place. However, these are all good, and I encourage you to try these. They're at Walmart, 250 candy aisle, boom. Up next, Infrared Ski. All right, here I am with Infrared Ski. Um, this is going to be a great way to wash down all that chocolate and cereal goodness from not just cereal. But let me tell you about Infrared Ski. I just saw this the other day. Um, had to try it. Uh, got two cans, drank one already. So uh, I'm just going to pretend that this is going to be like our first encounter. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But um, this used to be called Cherry Ski, but in um, 2009 they rebranded the whole Cherry Ski brand to make it infrared to compete with your flavors like uh, uh, Code Red Mountain Dew and whatever the Red Vault's called. I don't know. I don't care. So uh, it's really cool. Here's the packaging itself. And just this can has an MSRP of 35 cents. Wow, that's awesome. If I'm wrong, I know that the Double Cola has a 35 cent, like not even a sticker, it's on the can it says 35 cents. It's made by the same company, so I'm just assuming. And if I'm wrong, you know what they say about assuming. Ah, fizz. Okay, cool. Obviously it's red, duh. Um, Oh, it smells good. You can definitely smell the cherry is the strongest scent, but you can also smell the orange and lemon juice that's in there. <coughs> wow, I love, <coughs> I love when I get choked up on such good soft drinks. Okay, let me break it down for you. Gotta say, um, I'm, I'm a really, really big supporter of Code Red Mountain Dew. I support it. It tastes great. But I gotta say, Infrared Ski, you're right up there with it. And I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna go out on the line and say, I like Infrared Ski better than Code Red Mountain Dew. Not saying that that's a bad thing for Code Red. I'm just saying that this is really freaking good. Um, the cherry flavoring in it isn't a cherry juice, it's really like the, you know, the cherry flavoring that you get in the Code Red and other soft drinks. But it goes well with the orange juice and the lemon juice that's in the ski. And these are all natural juices in the ski, not just artificial flavorings of these juices. It's crisp. Um, I believe it might be a little bit lighter in consistency in uh, my mouth. Um, than the Code Red Mountain Dew. This is really good. Um, if you see Infrared um, Ski and you like your Red Vaults and your Code Red Mountain Dew, hop on this. You want to try it. I recommend it. Thumbs way up. Way up. They're not even in the camera anymore. But anyways, that about wraps it up for this episode of Bev Nerd. It was episode 19. It was a nice and fun one. Um, my dog almost died from eating chocolate covered syrup, but I stopped it, so I'm a hero. 
But check out BevNerd.com for all your needs. The beverage deals, that brought in a lot of hits this week. I thank everybody from the CAG forums that supported that. Thank you. Keep your eyes peeled for more deals. Contact me on Twitter at BevNerd. Email me at BevNerd.com. And also iTunes. Where are you going, man? You're like, I'm like hemorrhaging fans on there. I went from 120-something subscribers to like 60. Get back on the bandwagon. Don't make me hunt you down, guys. But YouTube, thanks. Anyways, check it out next week. Watch for more beverage deals. I'm out.